Hey guys, Paul on the plane here, traveling internationally, don't have my laptop with me, so don't have my good uh, video editing software to use, so a couple of videos mashed together here with iMovie, but uh, definitely wanted to get this out um, ASAP, so you guys can have a look and let me know what you think. This is a follow-up to the uh, pre-flight experiments that I've been doing all week leading up to this trip, uh, five, 6,000 miles here. Um, over the last uh, 15 or so hours and um, got some evidence here I'd like for you guys to see. So let's roll it. Okay, hey guys, here we are at the uh, Seattle Tacoma International Airport, uh, ready to begin this uh, experiment. Uh, in short, what you are going to be seeing here is a uh, calibration of the phone on the floor here this is the Seattle Tacoma, as I mentioned, International Airport, just so you guys can see where I'm at. Okay, I'm sitting here on the floor, got my spirit level, you can see that it is fairly level. So the floor is not absolutely perfect, but you get the point. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to be plugging in the Windows phone here, because it's completely dead. There we go, need two hands. It's gonna boot up. We are going to calibrate the uh, bubble level so that the phone remembers that this is, uh, this is considered level as far as it is concerned. And then we're going to be flying to uh, Boston and then we're gonna be flying to Dublin and then when we get off the plane there, we're going to boot it up and um, we're going to see if the bubble level is off-centered. So if you have not, uh, well, after you watch this, uh, if you have questions on the equipment tests, I thoroughly documented that uh, ahead of time. And um, what we're going to do is I'm going to calibrate it and then I'm going to unplug it the phone here and I'm going to let it completely die so it's out of juice and, uh, and it's going to be off for approximately 12 hours, 12 to 15 hours, somewhere in there. Um, that's why I've done this test up to 24 hours uh, to make sure that the phone remembers its orientation. So this should be good. Uh, we will see what the deal is. Okay, going to Load up the bubble level app here, ultimate level. Okay, here we are. You can see it's still off. I haven't touched it since I did all my pre-flight tests, so it uh, still is uh, oriented uh, at, a, at an angle. Um, so we are going to calibrate it here. There it is, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Uh, make sure that it's level here. Seattle Tacoma International Airport. It's around uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time on uh, Monday. And we are calibrated on the floor of the airport, okay? So I'm going to unplug the phone and we are going to let it completely run out of juice on its own. There's the critical, I'll just let it, I won't even touch it. Uh, battery critically low. So once this thing completely shuts down, I'm gonna throw it in my bag here. And the next time this phone is gonna be um, plugged in to boot up, it's going to be uh, anywhere from, and I haven't done the exact miles yet, but we're looking at between five to 6,000 miles from here. So quite a bit, if we do live on a globe, quite a bit of curvature and quite a bit of an angle change as far as the phone's uh, orientation is gonna be confirmed, or gonna be concerned, excuse me. All right, so we're just gonna wait here for a couple more minutes and there it goes. Goodbye. Goodbye, globe. That's what it means. Goodbye, globe.
Okay, it has completely shut down. Okay, so this phone will remain in this state until we get to Dublin, Ireland. All right, and uh, say goodbye to uh, Seattle. And uh, we'll see you on the other side of the ocean, the other side of the plane. At least that's what this test is going to uh, prove. If the bubble level is off-center when we get to uh, Dublin, Ireland, if it's off-centered, then, um, then hey, maybe we do live on a globe. But if it's in the middle, if it's centered, then uh, test, is, uh, test is confirmed uh, that we live on a, uh, on a plane. All right. We will see you guys in about 15 hours or so. All right, here we go. We are in the Dublin airport. Let's try and zoom in here. You can see some Irish and English. Okay, so here's the phone. It's on a level surface sitting here on the ground. I'm gonna plug this thing in. Plug this thing in. Put it up right away. So I guess we have power. We have to use an adapter here in here in Ireland. It's more proof that we're in a in a long uh, we're, we've taken a long journey. Or we could just install the or an Irish one to our house. Yeah. Thanks for that. Oh, cool. <laughs> got now. Got to wait for this thing to boot up. At least we have some good music while we wait. Come on, phone. <laughs> it's totally dead. Oh, well, it needs more juice to even boot up. I assume it'll boot up when it's ready. I think that those charge will mean it needs to be hooked in. No, this means it doesn't have enough juice to to uh, to boot up. No, it means it needs a charger, but yeah. Stop touching it. Thank you. See? Just have to be patient. Just have to be patient. Just have to be patient. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Hopefully, this works. Hopefully, it's got enough juice. Because I removed any opportunity for it to remember anything, because it's been dead this whole time. Okay, here we go. I can keep away from, my, from having a glare here. All right, bubble level experiment. Number one, from Seattle to Dublin, Ireland. If this is off-centered, then we live on a globe. If it's dead center, then we live on a fixed plane. Well, there it is. We just busted the globe. We just busted the globe. We just traveled, what, five, six thousand miles? There it is. Doesn't get much closer than that. On a level surface. Got my spirit level. Again. Here we are in Ireland at the Dublin International. Okay. Earth is flat. It's flat. It's flat. All right. Uh, submit these findings to the uh, scientific community. 
and uh, let's see uh, let's see their rebuttal. They're gonna have to they're gonna have to show us now that they can calibrate something. They can fly as far as I did on the allegedly on the other side of a sphere and show that it's moved. But uh, no matter what you do, it looks like uh, flat is flat. And no matter where you are on the, on this plane, uh, it's this is what the results are going to be. All right. Um, thanks again for watching, everybody. Keep it flat.